We went so many places, uh, but we're not going anywhere as a collective. We're still here. We're still doing this. Uh, this is a show where uh, usually uh, Allison will uh, bring us a topic uh, and we will talk about it. Uh, myself, yeah. Chris, I'm Jazz Sequence on the internet. That's Gary. He's binary Gary on the internet. That's Allison. She's Allison Plus on the internet. Uh, today, uh, to commemorate the fact that we've been doing this for almost two full years now, which is kind of amazing. A little uh, baffling, right? Yeah. I, I decided that we, we've sort of talked about this, um, uh, I think probably not on the show, uh, of, about doing sort of a greatest hits episode or greatest misses, <laughs> as it were. Um, so we're, when we go back through the topics that Allison has brought us and see how many of these we've actually retained knowledge of uh, oh, over wow. the course of two years. Um, I went through the list la a couple weeks ago, and uh, there were some even from the last few weeks that I had completely forgotten. So I think that this is, <laughs> this is a pretty good thing. Um, there are definitely some, some hits. There are definitely some things that I think that we've all sort of added to our vernacular like uh i did not put dyson sphere in here even though our definition of dyson sphere is not the actual definition of dyson sphere uh and uh, petrichor i think is something that we can all agree is, some, is something that is now in our daily language but there are many things in, in that that allison has stumped us on uh that i thought we could review uh as, as we go so i have a list of 30 things 30 30 30 things this is probably about half <laughs> wow but I mean, hey, if we were, if we, if we, if the other half are things that we actually remember, that's pretty darn good. So think about like public school system, getting, getting, getting halfway is probably a, as best as you can get. Uh, so I think that's still failing, isn't it? Well, well, that's a that's a passing mark. Yeah, that's a, that's a C. It's a good, it's a solid C. Okay. <laughs> Maybe my experience you, of school was different. <laughs> so you think I know as like a C minus student? I'd be right there, but. I didn't really commit the grading skill to memory. How that was part of the fifty percent I didn't uh, follow I mean, up on. It's been a really long time. We uh, in the states it was a holiday called Thanksgiving. Yeah, that happened last week. Um, yeah, that was a thing. And we didn't. And the like traditionally, it's uh, turkey and stuffing, which is like moist, uncooked bread. Um, what, what else is? That? I don't. We we did we did Greek food. We went I chicken souvlaki. It was good. <laughs> I don't dislike stuffing, but I really dislike it when you describe it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Moist, uh, uncooked bread? I mean, that's right. It's not. It's, I, I guess. it's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. I mean, I eat it. I don't have any problem with it. I just Seasoned, uh, not croutons. That's what it is. <laughs> it's, it's not croutons. Yeah, they're less than croutons. Yeah, yeah less than croutons. <sighs> All right, so <laughs> let's let's get to our, our greatest our greatest misses. Uh, from episode one zero one, we have the law of attraction. Wow, oh. boy. So I I. I mean, again, I, has, I had sort of a heads up because I made this list, but like I still look at this and think, oh, well, that's obviously either has to do with magnets yeah. or it has to do with uh, people, people being attracted to each other. I don't think it's either of those things. <laughs> no. I, I guess and the I, real I, quiz is, the real test is whether Allison remembers any of these. Things. Yeah, I know. I was just like, I think all of a sudden I'm like, wait a minute. I feel like this is backwards. Now all of a sudden I'm the one that's been quiz. <laughs> I think the law, should, can I say what it is? Or what I think it is? Sure, yeah, yeah. I think the law of attraction is if you, what's a good example? Um, like if you think good thought, like good attracts good, bad attracts bad. 
So like good thoughts bring good things into your realm. What was it? I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And I don't think that we should, I don't think that, this, that those are questions that we should answer on the show. <laughs> We can I was just not refer back to the I'm episode. sorry, what? <laughs> no, I didn't sign up for that. No. You know Gary's need for closure. <laughs> what well what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open a text document so I can jot these down. Yeah, I think so I, I can... think that that's something that that because because on, on the website we'll just link back to the episodes and ourselves and then we can go back and look at the right. Wikipedia articles that we put in the show notes or something. And so, we're yeah, keeping I mean, that on the internet, right? Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. So I mean, I, I yeah, I like I like your, I, don't know what uh, it is. I like your Damn law it. of attraction, Allison. I think it's probably not the right answer either. It's love. I think it would be difficult to to formulate a law around around that, but it's it's right. definitely uh, definitely something that I would like for the answer to be like for the meaning. Uh, <laughs> Gary's just shaking his head, big. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mad. I didn't realize that this is going to work out this way. All right, next topic. I mean, it is very binary jazz for, it to be, for us to have, like, no conclusion. Just, like, it's very much like our tagline should just be, like, just deal with it or Google it. Like, it's on Wikipedia. It is. <laughs> um, exactly. Great, time for listener questions. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, I can, I can pull up. I can, I can. More to go, Gary. I know. Really. Let's go. Let's let's bang into these. Come on. Let's okay, let's okay, knock let's them out. Go. All right. From the very next episode, episode one 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 zero. Yeah. Uh, the pig Did million. Forget that. Pig million effect. I'm just like watching <laughs> Gary. <laughs> That's the reward here for me. Well, let me add that. What can you spell? <laughs> Uh, P Y G, uh-huh. M A, uh-huh. L I O N, and the word effect. Yeah, I can. I got that one. I can spell that one. <laughs> uh, so that is definitely um, w- having to do with pygmies. I thought it was. A, I, th- I think it was how, a hate thing. It's it's how right. pygmies are pygmies. Yeah. Like you know, pygmy goats are the really small goats. It's what makes them pygmy goats. As opposed they're, to normal goats. Like their very essence of smallness. <laughs> yeah. No, this was literature related, Chris. We 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 um we started watching uh or we actually finished the Dark Crystal Netflix series. Oh yeah. So yeah, it's it's when you get the essence from pygmy goats, you get the essence of of littleness. Yes. In, in um, a very in a very dark crystal sucking them sucking their essence away kind of way. Um Really I uh, very unpleasant. I, I can't. We've canceled Netflix. That's oh. a shame because uh, uh, Dark Crystal is probably worth its weight in Netflix gold. I need to yeah. stick with Dark Crystal because I only watched the first one and then I got yeah. really overwhelmed. <laughs> no, it, it go, it's it's it gets way better. The first one is it starts out really slow. Yeah, um, and they just and like gets, obviously they have like a lot of setup for the world and yeah. like I was just like this is a lot. When I was little, I feel like I was much more on board, and now I'm just like, this is a lot of mental well, it's, <laughs> it's It's a lot because they're basically like, and I had issues at the very, at the very beginning, like with the way it seemed like they were like just pasting over all of this lore on top of something that had like hints of that, but like not really any of that stuff. Like the whole thing, like it's an alien race and like there's all this, like, you know, like there's just a lot that they throw at you. That you're just expected to go along with and i had a re- i had trouble getting there but once it gets into it once it gets established it's literally like it's it's game of thrones in uh dark crystal it's like that well, level like the effects and the puppetry were just amazing i had no qualms there but it's like... got like that level of like of like character depth and detail and conflict it doesn't do except without all the horrible rape um so it's like if game of thrones is actually good basically um yeah. <laughs> And you add some like Muppety kind yeah, of. Yeah, and then you have Muppets. They're all Muppets, and it's amazing. Yeah, practical effects. Okay, great. Okay, uh, I think can I Pygmalion? Yes, go go. So yes. Pygmalion was, um, I think, a Greek myth where the um, sculptor fell in love with his statue, and so I think that if memory serves, that it has something to do with the participants basically molding 
like becoming what the person expects of them. So if you expect good of like, I feel like all my answers are the same. If someone expects really high things for you, then you like ri like rise yourself to that expectation and vice versa. If you're just like, oh, you're you're worth nothing, then they're like, yeah, I guess I am. That's my. That, I think that's definitely. Uh, that sounds the answer. familiar. Yeah, that's definitely the answer to something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the. I'm just like, oh, this was an answer to something, and I'm gonna wrap it into my knowledge. Of yeah. Greek mythology. So, so what's interesting about that is the very next thing on my list is also an effect. So it could just as easily apply oh, no, to this. That one. Well, what is it? It's uh, from episode 1010, the Diderot effect. Oh. <laughs> no, it could easily be that one. <laughs> Damn it. But the statue thing kind of makes sense. No, the statue thing, I totally remember you explaining that. Yeah. I have Diderot, memories of that. I have no, like, that's a complete blank for me. Diderot effect, I think, is the episode where we talked about soccer, right? What episode? Talk is there an episode that we don't episode. talk about soccer? No, there was one episode where we talked about soccer for like 40 minutes. <laughs> Our episodes are soccer space food, soccer space food. That's not wrong. <laughs> Sometimes like food, food, soccer space, but like generally. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I have to take an early lunch today so I can catch the 1230 launch. Thank you. I was going to say bananas. <laughs> Diderot yeah, but bananas that need to be eaten. Well, off the, it's Sir Francis Diderot, clearly. Um, beyond that, I mean, he discovered Didn't so have, many things. I think this was a physics phenomenon that had something to do with jump ropes, right? Lots of things have, so many things should have more to do with jump ropes. <laughs> or who? Sure, sure. Excellent. All right, next topic. Uh, we don't know that one either. Okay, so episode 1011, the next one after that was the Suzuki method. I know this one. Okay, go. It was a music training thing. It's a way kids learn music. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I yeah. kept thinking I kept thinking about the conversation we had about it, which had to do with like Kanban and like processes and order and stuff. But, but yeah, you're right. It's, it's, yeah. it's this, yeah. Uh, this is um, a, uh, this is one of those where I feel like the modern thought process of the Suzuki effect. It must be within that little motorcycle goes flying past really loudly. That's the Suzuki effect. But no, yeah. it's music training. Yeah. Cool. Well, we got one. We're we got uh, one. one out of there's one. Four. Twenty-five percent. I'll, I'll mark it down. One. Okay. Uh, episode one one zero zero. It's it's definitely one of our greatest hits. The curse of Tippecanoe. Um, this had something to do with um, presidents dying, right? I'm pretty sure it's going to do with something with like presidents dying. I just like just really write it out. <laughs> I mean, it had to do with a curse. No, uh, I, I there, there was a Native American curse. chief named Tippecanoe or a place that was, that was Native inhabited uh, somewhere. What, what, was, what was the deal? Though? The deal was the curse of Tippecanoe is that... Well, there's the whole... There's the... Oh, my doorbell. That's, That's a fancy sound doorbell. doorbell. <laughs> I like it. Um, I Hi, think, Robin. I know. <laughs> cameo. Um, I think, because there's that whole thing with presidents dying in years that ended in zero. Oh, that's what it was. When they were elected. Yeah. Yeah. So next year could be pretty good. What? <laughs> <laughs> that was the head part. But it was so broken. So wasn't it broken in 1980 with Reagan? Because he was like shot at, but not killed. Uh, I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> was that the first time the curse was broken? I think so, because before that, who died? Kennedy. It was Kennedy. Kennedy. Um, Nobody died in ninety. My backwards math is not so great. So then fifty. Uh -huh. I don't know who. who yeah. Presidents. Okay. okay, great. We know nothing Dead about presidents. them. Um, <laughs> Less or less. Go uh, the next episode after that was episode 1101, where we talked about contact improvisation. Oh, yeah. And I, I and couldn't, there were some great videos shared on this one. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't think about that without thinking about like improvisation games and like, where, like the, the freeze tag game that I used to play in, in drama class, where you, you, 
touch someone and then you improv a yeah. scene. Yeah. But I don't think yeah. that that's contact improvisation. I think contact it was not. No, totally this was different. like a this was like a very cool. There were some great uh, YouTube videos shared. Yeah. That really stuck with you. Those videos. <laughs> I I very much enjoyed them. Is that, I, it was not something I'd considered, and I. Oh, that's that was the that was the dance that was like you had to be like constantly body, yeah, touching contact, yeah. other yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay yeah it's something that's that would make me incredibly uncomfortable but it's like very beautiful to watch when people know kind of what they're doing <laughs> i don't think i could shower enough to feel comfortable doing it no. you know like i think i would be like oh i hope i don't stink i think like professional dancing there's there's a sort of professionalism that doesn't occur in other artwork realms where i'm just like oh that's just it's very intimate in a certain way yeah. especially with contact <laughs> okay so we did get that one okay uh so that's three we're doing pretty good we're still oh, I stopped still hovering track. around 50 percent yeah <clears throat> uh okay so episode we now we jump to episode one zero one zero one uh which it was a buildings roman I don't know if I'm saying that right. Didn't we decide this is the thing that? Um, <laughs> I love I'm that. Sure we, I'm sure we decided decide something. We know what it was. No, we never know what it is. <laughs> this is the thing where um, not Quakers, not the you know, people that make things out of wood in the Pennsylvania Valley. You know, the ones without electricity. Shakers? No. Amish. You're thinking of, Amish. We, I think we did this in the episode too. You're thinking of Rumspringa which is the sabbatical that the Amish people take when they're like in their early 20s. <laughs> you are totally right. <laughs> Glad we could rehash that. <laughs> this is, this is why like, it's a greatest Mrs. Like episode. Because we just, we just go back to the things we thought it was the first time and we're wrong <laughs> so, still. So say the word again. Uh, Bildungsroman. Bildungsroman. B-I-L-D-U-N-G-S. Roman, R O M A N. Yeah, uh, two words. No, one word. Buildings Roman. Okay, I'm writing it down so that I can look it up later on because it's definitely pretty, no idea. I yeah. I know what this one is. Thank you, bachelor's degree, <laughs> English lit. <laughs> oh oh, okay. What is it? It's a literary term for like a coming of age novel that like oh. follows, follows yeah. like, the main character's like maturation or journey. I don't know what a good example of that would be. Um, Catcher in the Rye isn't Yeah, I'm just like, that's always my standby. I'm like, Catcher in the Rye. <laughs> that's a good example yeah. of so many things. I mean. <laughs> cool. All right, next oh. one. OK, uh, the next one, uh, again, the very next episode. Uh, seems like we go in streaks. Uh, episode 10110 with Snellen chart. Uh, this was. Uh, I'm writing it down because I think I'm wrong. This has something to do with um, like sky maps, right? Like using star maps, no? I like that idea, but I thought it was what the eye chart was called. Oh, damn, yeah. you're right, it is. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> damn. Which is kind of like a sky map. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't read that and not think of like Gantt charts or something, some sort of like. Oh. Uh, workflow process uh, project management thing, which I think is probably what I said it was in the episode. Yeah. So someone, yeah. uh, someone so they guess... asked me, "Do you want to see the the uh, Gantt chart I've been working on?" And I said, "No." There is no planet that I would ever say yes to that on, but I feel as a professional I sh uh, responsible for this project, I should say yes. I will look at that Gantt chart. <laughs> like, so no, I don't want to look. No, why would you offer that? Of course, I don't want to. But like, think about how our like. Our mind, like your mind is specific, like the law of attraction, you both went to magnets. Like you both, like it's just like, it's really interesting how, I don't know. Gary, you both day. are. <laughs> <laughs> Gary goes to space and I go to work. Is that how, is that what you're implying? I don't know. I don't know what I'm implying. Let me formulate my thought before I insult everybody. <laughs> no, no, I like where this is going. Insult Chris. <laughs> I'm just like, it's just funny how our interests, like we immediately go to what we know. Yeah. Rather than like the absurd or some sort of thing that we might have heard of because that's just like the unknown obviously you can't know what you don't know you heard it here first just just like <laughs> that's the thing that my project manager always says you don't know what you don't know <laughs> you can't Boy. guess what you don't know <laughs> that is the frustrating part of 
right? So I mean, I guess, this, I guess as, as a uh, reflecting on being meta about this episode currently, um, this actually works pretty well as a greatest misses because we do just keep rehashing the same things that we said in the episode. So you probably don't even need to go back to the episode unless you want to hear us talk about it in a little bit, probably about as much as we're talking about it now, and then like a whole bunch of other stuff. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but they're it's yeah. kind of the condensed version because yeah. I know the Rum Springer conversation. I think it took us a lot longer to come up with that term. <laughs> this time I'm like ready. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, episode 11000 uh, was Brannock device. Oh, I remember this. Brannock device. I think I remember. My <laughs> assumption is that Brannock device is a physical type of device. Uh, maybe something that was originally sketched uh, by somebody named Brannock, but I think that probably it's like a device, like as a construct, like a, a writing construct, like it's a device it, that you use in writing. Um, it was literary in nature. But I don't know what that device would be. I don't, I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. I second guessing everything. <laughs> are, you stumped, are you stumped too, Allison? I think I thought it was the name of the thing that you measure your foot size on. Oh right, okay, okay. Like the weird silver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know we talked about that at some point, so that could be. <laughs> and either remembering or just coming up with answers that were applicable at some point through the podcast. I mean, pro there's a pretty good chance that we're at least right about some of those things that that yeah. that sound right because i did like pick and choose i did i didn't put the obvious ones that we do remember so <clears throat> yeah on <Under> attack <laughs> um okay episode the next one after that episode one one zero zero one which is the dog nudie stertion oh oh Sounds like you I'm, think you know what it is, but you kind of don't. No, not a clue. Not a clue. Dang, I feel so bad about that one, too. Because I remember laughing. <laughs> Dude. Um, <laughs> damn it. Uh, this is a pretty rough episode. This is like... Yeah, and I thought... God, this is my annual review. I'm like, shit. What? I thought there was learning happening, and there's no retention. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's, we got I three. expect better from you, Gary. <laughs> we, got, we got three. Yeah. Well, we don't have nudie assertion. All right, next. Uh, nudie assertion. Um, does that not have something to do with like? Uh, I want to say it has something to do with nudibranchs, but it probably doesn't. But like, a type of sea like creature. A company that like handles large amounts. Yeah, of like cash. a class of sea creatures. Of nudie assertions. <laughs> yeah. I think this is the tangent we went on in the actual episode. Okay. Yeah. Then probably it's not that. I don't remember what it is. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, okay. Um, episode 11100 is application. So an application is a thing that when you're applicating, applying, applying for a job, you fill out an application. God, this, we did this in the show too. <laughs> I mean, that joke never gets old. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's not going to. It's, it's perfect. It's, it's exactly what's necessary in this, in this uh, situation. Construction application. application. I think that I would find it a lot more humorous had I not already like whiffed on seventeen other episodes. Oh, it's just like it's like good news. We're only twelve in. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Oh, is it twelve? Uh, this is actually the eleventh. Wow. I opened everything on my pocket knife. Uh, yeah, application. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Total blank for me. Um, I, even there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think I would have come up with this concept on my own. <laughs> I don't know where you find your sources. I don't know where you get your information, but some, wherever it is, it's a pretty good place. <laughs> well, yeah, apparently so. And then I'd like immediately forget about it. So, uh, okay. No. So no. the next episode was 11 or 11101. And we talked about the Ben Franklin effect. And there's many things about Ben Franklin that I think I know. Um, Are they half-baked? Yeah, yeah, totally, totally half-baked. Uh, I don't think any of those things would qualify as an effect. I don't remember that one at all. Yeah. 
Next. <laughs> I mean, what I really, I know this isn't it, but what I really wish it was is like some other Ben Franklin. <laughs> like Benny Franklin. You know, from like the famous Facebook. bowler. Yeah, like he has nothing to do with like. And it's like, it's really just like getting mistaken for a historical figure or something. And that's the Ben Franklin. That's the effect that. right there. Yeah, it's getting named mistaken. after the another Ben Franklin. <laughs> Oh, you mean Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin. Oh. <laughs> Benjamin it's another, T. <laughs> it's another literary device. All the effects are. All the effects are literary <laughs> devices. Uh, okay. So episode 11111. Uh, it was Kayfabe. Or maybe Kayfabe. I, I remember that one. Really? Surprisingly. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We're getting more well, recent. We're, we're, I think I know more than I do. We're going weird. from oldest to newest, Gary. So it, yeah. there's a there's a greater likelihood that we'll get to things that we do remember when it gets closer. Um, well, let's hope so. Uh, the, and there's also a fairly considerable jump, it looks like, uh, at some point. Uh, so, um, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Que so. fabe, I believe, is where the Italian gesturing started with Chris, right? Que fabe. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I can live with that as a definition. But what is it really? I think it has to do with like breaking down the third wall. There was that thing oh, with like okay. wrestling. Or wrestling was an example of it where they have like their characters. Yeah. Yep. I mean, that yep. was, again, that was definitely the, the answer to something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, I'm just like, oh. well, I don't know if that's helpful, but. Um, but how do you spell it? K A Y F A B E. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay, great. Okay, uh, episode, I think it's probably the next one. Yeah, uh, episode one zero 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 zero, Idioglossia. There's some really good gifts that could come out of this episode. <laughs> I feel like a bit of an Idioglossia today, to be honest with you. It sounds not, like a literary term to me. That's and like I, like I'm I mean, trying does. to think of my wheelhouses of where yes. I was pulling stuff it, from. I, I'm not confident, but I think it idioglossia was like how twins develop like their own language. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Is that it? I think. I mean, that was an answer to something. That, yeah, that was definitely an yeah. answer to something. I'm gonna I'm gonna mark that down as <laughs> I say score. Yeah. Oddly enough, that, 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 that was the answer to Nudio Sturgeon. So. <laughs> No, because Glossia definitely has uh, references like language, um, so that makes yeah. sense. And Idio references us. Go on. <laughs> Episode <laughs> one zero 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 one one uh, was Vernation. That's a uh, that's like a music collective that's uh, similar to Live Nation. No, it's, um, it's, it's based in, in Vermont. It's Vernation. Vernation. Yeah. This had something for, I think this had something to do with plant life. I think uh, it was like the spiral sense. of the plant. Yeah. Uh, boy. I feel like it's right there on this one. I'll sit up at midnight tonight and go, <gasps> Vernation! Yeah. <laughs> Episode one zero zero one zero zero one hundred one hundred. Uh, yeah. If that if that triggers any memories right there, <laughs> was nixtamalization. This is um, the way that uh, I believe it was corn is processed um, to make tortillas, right? That's what I was gonna say. I knew, but again, I know that's the answer to something, whether it's this one. I'm pretty sure that that's nixtamalization. Okay, Chris, I'm, gonna call on, I'm, I'm gonna call the score. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. call him that one. I mean, you better. Um, <laughs> I love I, that I, our, our scoring is very arbitrary. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, does someone want to look it up and confirm right now? I mean, we could. We'll wait then, for you listeners. We've, we've got. But then we could just be looking on things the whole time. Yeah, we exactly. draw a line in the sand. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No definitions. All right. Great. Uh, episode one zero zero one one one. What? Dunnert. 
A Dunnert was a measurement of something, right? I love that you say right. Like, <laughs> I mean, a Dunnert is what I feel like right now. Yeah. All right. Well, we're getting tight on time, so let's keep trucking. <laughs> Uh, let's do a couple more, and then we got questions. If I, I probably need to get into. Oh, we can just keep going, I guess. We'll, we'll save our questions for next. Week. I have questions. <laughs> uh, this one, uh, I only remember the uh, our definition of it, which is one zero one zero one zero ten ten ten, was definition, and I I remember that what we thought it was was uh daffy duck's definition of things <laughs> the daffy nation <laughs> I, I don't even i mean like daffy duck as well for that uh you'll have to you'll have to re-listen re to the episode to find out <laughs> did we did we do an impression of daffy duck on that episode listen to binary jazz and find out da <laughs> daffy nation was um, a portmanteau of some sort. Yeah. It was like a reinterpretation yeah, of means. the real definition. Oh, right. So it actually was like Daffy Duck. Kind of, uh, yeah. But I'm trying to give an example. Because um, they're kind of like puns, but not really. Um, I don't know. I'm not coming up. Wait. Vernation or application? Never mind. Keep going. I don't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, episode one zero 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 was Sanpaku, and the thing is that we had a whole bunch of um, uh, of Asian topics, and I always like they always sound like the same thing. Like <laughs> it has something. To, it has something to do with 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 development cycles <laughs> i have no idea uh, yeah. i don't think that this is the uh gluing together of pottery thing no, no that's, that's um, i would know it if i heard it but <laughs> it's like kingari or something like that yeah uh but i don't know what it is I don't know what it is. I know what it's not, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> and you know what? That's half the battle. Yeah. Uh, episode one one zero 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 one. Gorlin's sign. I think I know what this one is. Oh. I think it's the ability to touch your nose with your tongue. It was something like that. But why team. would what would that be a sign of? Uh, it was an indicator of some kind of uh, fl flung, flung flexibility. Like <laughs> Tongue flexibility. Tongue flexibility. Is that what I said? Well, I said flung flexibility, which is oh. definitely not what I meant. <laughs> I stand by my answer. <laughs> okay, I mean, I definitely, I definitely, I yeah, it could be. I know that that was something that we did. I don't understand why it's a sign, but okay, we can no, just go with that. Yeah. Um, okay, episode one one zero one zero zero one ten one hundred was lipogram. It's when you lipogram. send your lips uh, to yeah. another person uh, through the mail. <laughs> it was some kind lipogram. of way of recording. Oh, what was it? Lips, obviously. Such a nothing to do with lips. I don't know. I still don't know. <laughs> Didn't know then. Don't know now. Won't know next time you ask. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> this is a real depressing episode. For you. Uh, episode I kind of like it, actually. Episode so. one one zero one one one. Uh, apophenia. Oh, uh, I know what it's not. Uh, the fear. Because this was this was the episode. This was the episode that we talked about. Apollonia six. Uh, and yeah, and Prince. <laughs> yeah, and Prince spinoff projects. Yeah, it feels like that was a very long time ago. It does yeah. What what month was that recorded? In? I don't know. Uh, you you could find out at binaryjazz.us. <laughs> That's a lot of content over there, huh? There is yeah, quite a bit, yeah. about two years worth. 
I should um, check and make sure we have hard drive space for this <laughs> at some point. <laughs> uh. Apophenia is like, oh god, it's a psychological thing. Um, oh, come on, Psych 101. <laughs> so 27 gigabytes available on that server. So excellent, no problem. Okay. We'll be fine. I think I think apophenia has something to do with like your perception, your perception of something being different, or vice versa. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not gonna know it. <laughs> it's not proprioception because I know what that is. <laughs> I know that was a topic. Uh, episode one 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 zero 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 is pognology. I know we went down the road of like discussing pogs. This is the study of pogs. <laughs> <laughs> like, <really? laughs> I, I can't imagine a situation where someone didn't say, obviously, this is the study of pogs. This is obviously. <laughs> I, it was, I mean, technology. it's the um, <laughs> study of beards or like people with. Oh beards. my gosh, your facial hair. Yeah, facial hair. Yeah. I'm I'm just to someone that, that I know because I've used it oh, and make right. jokes about tech. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. I, no, it's great. That's awesome. Nice poll. Uh, okay. I'm going to mark that because Gary remembered I didn't. <laughs> I didn't remember I, at all. Allison well, remembered. you remembered after Allison said that and then you're like, oh, yeah. A nod of, yeah. 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 I had, I still, but that was, I mean, I remember talking about that, but yeah, <laughs> would not have ever got uh, uh Episode 111001, Mondegreen. We decided this was like an area outside of a like university where the <laughs> students would hang out. The Mondegreen. And play, play Frisbee and whatnot. Yeah, the, yeah. Meet you on the Mondegreen. I, I was going to say, I thought we decided that this was a particular shade of green, Mondegreen. Mondegreen. Yeah. Um, I think what we decided are, uh, uh, it's kind of a uh, immaterial, but it's wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's <laughs> I don't remember Mondegreen. Mondegreen was when you mishear lyrics. Oh, right. Okay. Because the original was something, something on the green. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mondegreen. Uh, episode <laughs> one 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 zero one. I want you to appreciate what just happened there. Allison gave the definition, and I heard it, and it just kept going that way. <laughs> you can ask again in ten minutes. I'll be like, I've never heard that word before in my life. <laughs> Gary, what is a mondegreen? I believe it's a particular shade of green, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> episode one 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 zero one zero was syzygy. Syzygy. Wow, spell that. S Y Z Y G Y. It is much, a I think, I think high is, scoring word in Scrabble. <laughs> I think I think this is the episode where we talked about Zizix. Yes, yes, yes. Totally that was. that was the only thing that I could retain from from this word uh, when I was going through the list is like th this is the episode we talked about Zizix. Yeah, I think and then and then following that episode, I actually went to Zizix. <laughs> in tribute. And Zizix sort of, yeah. was this town. Like, it was like a cult, right? Yeah, yeah. For him, uh, yeah. I mean, Great. I mean, people on the internet will yell at me and say that it was not a cult, and that it was not a commune, and it was not a scam artist, and that it's definitely not a ghost town uh, yeah. because it's currently used well, by a university. But all of those things are still true. So you can yell at me on the internet. I don't care. <laughs> I'll just block you. I will. Uh, I will remind people on Twitter that they are allowed to yell at you. Yeah. <laughs> You probably do it right after this episode. If I if I remember, yeah, I mean, I'll let me add a list of things. Uh, possibly, Mind possibly with Twitter a gif of Fry Mooning to yell at Chris with a gif. <laughs> of scheduled. Fry Mooning. Okay, so if we don't know what syzygy is, okay, uh, are we settled with <laughs> no definition for syzygy? Oh yeah, we're about no clue. Left. Not okay, even one one one. Uh, zero one one, a panthropinization. <laughs> <You're just keyboard. laughs> 
Thank you for listening to Binary Jazz. If you like this episode, you can subscribe to us on iTunes or Google Play. You can visit us online at binaryjazz.us or follow us on Twitter at, at @binaryjazz. Don't forget that you can ask us a question through the form on the website or on Twitter, and we'll read it aloud on the next episode of Binary Jazz.